Hey everybody, we're back. Apparently, I'm uh, not horrible at this weekly anymore. Although I was for quite some time. <laughs> you thought I was bad and you were right, but you were only right for like a little bit. Now, now I know the sauce. The sauce is, is complicated. Let me be a hot, let me be a soft, let me be a shy eyes. Um, the sauce is complicated. Early seahorse iguana to create favorable traits. Oh, that's unfortunate for me. Um, pineapple on your iguana, then pivot off, to, off of that to get higher stat units coming. And also, very important, a level. A, an early level, as early as possible, and we just got one. Maybe even a level three. And then in the late game, you pivot to sniping an opposing team's vultures and replacing it with vultures of your own. That seems to be the secret as far as I can tell so far. Now, you can call me crazy, and if you're crazy, call me twice. Level me. Run to seahorse build. I know. It's a little strange, but we live in a strange world right now. Two seahorses, two iguanas. My personal opinion here is that this maximizes our chances of, of uneven teams on the opposition, of getting a kill, basically. Now, that being said, it does also create a problem where no other units on our team have any stats. But it worked out that time. It's not like we have too many other alternatives. It's like there's not that many high attack units available right now. So let's maximize our mod's ability. You don't need any meat, let's be honest. I'll give you some of that. Let's maximize our moth's ability to two for one at the very least. They got their own moth. Oh god, it might still work. Dude, these iguanas are going off. <laughs> Okay, good, very good stuff so far. Now, we need the level. We need the, the, this is working right now, we need to think about the future. So, you level your seahorse to get the level. A whale doesn't do well for us right now. It could do well in the future, it could eat some deers. You know what, can I tell you something crazy? I think you can run front whale. And then you've got two decent attack units. I know, it sounds insane. Okay. I also think you scale your whale with a giraffe, just because it's already a little tanky. And then we're gonna try to get some kind of summoning build going off of it. I know, I know, it's unusual. It's atypical. It's, 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 it's functional? It's functional, okay. Now we're looking for a deer so we can make something of the whale. Oh, okay, we got a seahorse apparently. You need this. We got two seahorses. We gotta look for a level three at least. That'll take a moth a little closer, even though it's not really what we wanna see. And I think you could croissant your whale to keep it scaling. I still think the whale at the front makes the sense makes the most sense. We don't want it to eat something because we want the moth to not be useless. That's just me being weird. I like it when my units actually like do something for me. It's a strong team. Oh, Okay, 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 okay. Okay, well, forget the level three moth. We'll go level three seahorse. Now we run vultures. Okay, now now we understand. So, the iguana can go. It, it hasn't been doing enough. The vulture stays. The whale should eat something. The whale should eat, because of this croissant, the whale should eat before the moth goes. But then what's the moth going to do? <laughs> Wait a minute. No, no, no. Okay. Whale in the middle. Seahorse at the front eats the moth. This is just to create an extra vulture trigger. Are you going to be sticking around? Probably not. You know what? We, we'd rather buff our vulture. Even though the vulture not being at the back is idiocy. Okay. No, we should not buff our vulture. That's not the way to do this. We buff the whale and then we look for like deers to show up. This is not necessarily smart <laughs> to put it politely okay we sell our moth to run a bison at the front and then you 
okay, I know how this looks, but here, we're buffing the bison. The bison's also buffing itself, which means we're stuck with keeping a seahorse now. Which means we don't need to buff our whale any. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this, this makes sense. We eat the giraffe, but who cares if we eat the giraffe? It comes back as a 2 4 anyway, and it's already served its purpose. It's just the order is horrible, but the early vulture can, can make a big. Oh my god, they have a 21 26 seahorse. Forget what I said about us having a chance this time. Um, but next time. He came back and shot? <laughs> next time. Okay, and we're on lethal, but, but we got a setup. It's a bit wonky, but we got a setup nonetheless. Buff me. We're looking for pineapples and things that spawn other things. You spawn something else, because so you're gone. And now we run that. And we do we need this so bad? Don't kill me. Let me let me live. Let me live, you piece. I don't think we got enough stats, honestly. But we do have a vulture. A vulture can make up for, for some problems. Actually, this looks completely fine. We're, we're even getting bad vulture luck, if you'll let me, allow me to be a little salty. We still made it. Okay, now we just gotta hold on tight. We gotta just be as perfect as the shop will let us be. This is good. This is good. We still lose to a crocodile, so I'm, I'm trying to buff you out of, like, death to crocodile range. But we also, I mean, what are you gonna do? I don't know. If, if I could buy something in the shop that would instantly protect our vulture from crocodiles, of course I would do it. Okay, we accidentally saved their kangaroo. We killed their kangaroo and then we saved it. Good, yeah, yeah, shoot those backline units. Yeah, yeah, shoot those backline units. Shoot those, shoot those. It's all right, we're still in here. Is it a bit of a scumbag build? Sure, why not? I would still like you to get to level two. You getting to level three is, or level two is much more important. A stegosaurus is, is so valuable but I can't use you right now. If you show up in a shop after we get another unit to level three and we could sell our seahorse, then sure. Crocodile! This seems less than good. This seems like it, it okay. Well, you know what? We called it. <laughs> we said we lose the crocodile and then a crocodile showed up. Fair enough. That's what I, I respect it because it's elevated croc in this pack. We've had some situations where I've, I've said some unkind things to the crocodile. I've said, I don't really understand what this thing is good for. Um, and I take that back now because look, this weekly, it, it, it does a great job of countering a very popular meta. We'll be a, um, how about a witty alien? Like, uh, like from a Justin Roiland project. This is a draw. We're lucky it's a draw, but it's a draw. And then I think, I would love to run ladybug food meta. You can, well, you can create some very impressive teams with it. We should scale a mosquito for now because we're going to have a level 2 mosquito. It's the rare non-iguana seahorse early team. We win these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three mosquito. I mean, that's three free damage. That's like a, a good unit's free damage on turn two. That's, that's worth a lot. I definitely feel like a peacock can go off this weekly. I definitely feel like a kangaroo can go off this weekly. So hear me out here. Peacock, kangaroo. Let me annoy you briefly by, by getting some buffs out here. And we want... You know what? What about shrimp HP scaling? We, we really want HP on the peacock. We can do some buy cells, frigate birds. See if we see them. I don't know. I mean, like, HP scaling a little hard to come by. I'll take what I can get here. This worked out very nicely. We want to scale your HP as fast as possible. We could also buy peaches. But I think, sell me. Sell me. Buy me. Okay, and then we just start to pray. Hit R. Peacock. That's idiocy. No real buy cells there. This is, hit the peacock. That's also pretty good. Buy me. Hit the peacock. Thank you. Sell me. Hit the peacock. Love it. Buy me. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So we'll probably sell our ladybug next time. That's a lot of gold that went to, like, 
very risky plays. However, consider that the alternative for me, oftentimes, at least the way I play the game, is um, just buying rerolls and then not taking anything. I think extracting some value here when we're in the, the quicksand of like mediocre early game units is, is pretty positive. So you're gonna get sold. You're definitely getting bought and, and probably placed, but I think we could also just do this and do this. I don't really think I care about a level three mosquito in a world where melon armor is not that common. Um, you're kind of like buy sellable, but it's do we want to give up the mosquito right now for it? And I think the answer is probably no. You're buy sellable and you're just you're statable, but maybe not in the way that we like the most. We gotta we gotta worry like. We're kind of building around the shrimp right now, which I have to imagine, not the finest um, decision you could make. This team is so strong, holy cow. Remember when I said you can't use rabbits this week? I may have misspoke. Add me? I st even with the pineapple, I don't think, my, my anecdotal experience is that the, um, the mosquito, even with the pineapple, is not that good this week. I've just buffed you, and now I'm going to get ready to sell you. What a world we find ourselves living in. This strikes me as pretty bad right now. <laughs> or, like, really bad. Don't hit the seahorse. Thank you. Still don't hit. The, I still think we probably just lose, but at least it looks less embarrassing. Hmm. Hmm. We don't. We need more strong units. That's for certain. You need to get sold. Please tank me up here. I'm. I'm begging you for the 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 tanking of me up. Thank you. And then again. That's still pretty okay. We could always run this and create a level two kangaroo if we have to. This is HP, which makes for a decent buy sell. I would just take this and bank a free reroll. And use it use it now. I don't know if 21 HP is gonna be enough, man. I I I hope that it is. But I'm I'm skeptical. Although, maybe it was enough, it doesn't have to be enough for the peacock to live, it just has to be enough for the kangaroo to get enough HP to live. That's true. That's true, though. Go ahead, HP is still very precious. Honestly, go ahead. I, I can't afford to get rid of the pug, unless it's for, like, a, a kangaroo that gets us to level 2 naturally. It no longer requires the, the sauce. I don't think we're going to live long enough to hit the iguana. We're not. No, no, we, we're still fine. Yeah, we're still okay. Like, we hit the iguana with the peacock, I should say. Oh, uh, uh, we got to find a way to get some more value into the squad. Okay, th this is it. And I'm not worried about the extra 2 HP from selling you first. Or am I? I am. I am. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Sell me. Sell me? It doesn't matter. Then you run two monkeys. I still need the uh, pug for now. Did I say iguana? I meant pug. Now I don't need the pug. We still got the pug. I don't need the pug. We need a, a crocodile. A crocodile that can stop vultures from, from whittling me down. What is this? <laughs> Wait a minute. We do okay with hurt triggers. I think this is not so bad. I think our kangaroo's gonna scale pretty nicely. I told you, it's not that bad. The kangaroo is basically like another peacock the, the, with the stats we got going right now. Now, throw a crocodile in there to help out. I do think a porcupine can go the frick off this week. Is it too late? Yeah. I think I would have liked to have seen it a little earlier. If I'd known that was coming, maybe we would have done it differently. Lioness is not bad at all. I just find it a little, I don't know, a little a little boring, maybe. I'm willing to take an L on a round. And you know what? Ah, I, gotta, I gotta think about this rooster. If we got, like, the perfect shop next time, 
A rooster could go insane. It's the same team. We killed their blowfish with our crocodile. That's great news. If we could get chocolate and keep a rooster, get a rooster in position one to scale off of a level two monkey until it becomes a level two or three rooster and then pull it back a little bit. Like the rooster goes, it goes insane. I think we should try it because our peacock is already getting pretty close to maxed. I'm going to take a crocodile. I don't really want to. Um, what I want to do is give chocolate to a rooster as soon as possible. Okay. Vulture sniped, but this team still looks kind of scary. No, it doesn't. That's sandbagging. Look at what you're doing here. And you gotta, if you're running a vulture and it seems frustrating to you that one unit could counter you so hard, consider the fact that the vulture hard counters every other squad in the game in this weekly and then like show some respect because <laughs> uh, i've been running it too it sucks to just have a crocodile show up and be like oh i lose at the same time it sucks to go up against any other team and they have a vulture and you're like oh i lose okay i don't think you replace anything with a stegosaurus right now although admittedly when you're close to lethal you maybe you look at this and you say to yourself eh, you know i'd rather have 12 12 than 4 6 yeah you know what I didn't really think that through as much as I thought I did. We'll start it that way, too. We can still keep you in the front. I don't think it really matters. If we want it, well, maybe it does, because now the kangaroo position four, it doesn't get as much chance to trigger, maybe. But if it doesn't get as much chance to trigger, it's probably because we won. Okay, they, they built a strong vulture. See, even... Oh, but then they killed it. Oh, never mind. I was getting ready to be salty, but it appears that everything's fine anyway. Never mind. I, I would like to retract my salt. That salt was unnecessary. And then, let's be real, we're on winning potential. I still want to look for things that help us out permanently. A one-up is not really that. One-up chicken is like one of the most overrated moves in the game, in my opinion. You need this, and then we need to rework the squad order, and that's fine. And then, it would be nice, we don't really need a level a level three peacock, honestly. We'll, we'll keep it around prospectively. That's what I was going to say. That was the last thing I was going to say, is that would be nice. I, I don't even think... Well, we'll have to see if we lose this one. I don't think I would trade a kangaroo for the white tiger and then run white tiger on chicken here, but we should be fine. We, we beat this squad earlier, and this time we actually killed their, uh, their vulture. So, dude, I mean, I don't know what to say, except that Crocodile does kind of go insane this week. And we pulled out another 10-piece. And another 10-piece that looks a little different than some of the 10-piece. Well, no, actually, this looks a lot like the second one we had. In fact, I think the squads might be fundamentally close to identical. Uh, no, you see, um, it's a little bit different. This one had a snake. This one had a Crocodile. This one did have a one-up Scorpion. I forgot about that. We're doing good this weekly now. That's something. I think you take chinchillas because they can level. I think you got you to put some value on the stats here. I don't know. I don't think a ladybug is going to do it. A two, three marmoset just to get us through the next round, maybe. Hot hostesses. I'm talking about uh, uh, Cheetos. Flaming hot Cheetos. Oh, oh, now I see why you're minus twoing me. That's not a um, hostess product. That's Frito-Lay. That's Frito-Lay. I'm sorry. Problematic. I would rather you hit the otter so I don't mind spawning you sideways like Paul Giamatti. Great for next round. And you know what? Call me crazy. The, no, 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 no. For this round, even if we sell them like soon or eventually, for this round, 2 HP does a lot more on a unit with 3 attack than it does on a unit with 1 attack. Never mind. Never mind, that was foolish. It changes nothing. <laughs> we lose, but only by a bit. Okay, I'm not worried. As one loss, one draw. We got an early level, and it's a good level. Early rabbit? Okay, you know what? You just... You, you, now you got me doing this. Now you got me running big chinchilla. Does that feel good? Is that what you wanted in this life? Is to see me running big chinchilla? And then as many foods as possible to buff this chinchilla? 
We may need to freeze a cupcake just because we have to level as fast as possible. Or we have, sorry, we have to stat as fast as possible. Okay. Okay, you're killing me. Did you engineer a drawing team? No, I don't know what you've done, but I thank you. I thank you nonetheless. I don't want it. Honestly, I want... It's a temporary stats, but it's also some permanent HP. And then I want something that will allow us to level. We should really just pop this over here, but... For now, why don't you just take three more HP? We'll take this next turn. What I really want to see is a chinchilla next turn. That way we can level it and feel like slightly more justified in its existence, maybe. I, I said maybe, by the way. Somehow, this worked for us. So I think we got to get serious now. <laughs> uh, you should go. Then I don't mind. I really don't want the buff to hit you. I'm, I'm okay with this. I do feel like, like this is okay. And as much as I'd like to buy you a cupcake, I'd really rather see like, yeah, like this is more along the lines of what I'd like to see. And then a peach to keep scaling. I think HP scaling is worth something. I, uh, okay, okay, okay. We can re we can basically recreate the last run, except with a chinchilla instead of a peacock, which is worse by like a lot, but... It's kind of pogging right now, even if we get swapped around on the order a little bit. So I'm thinking you gotta go. You come in, and then we buff you. And then this is basically like buying a peach with some upside. Well, a peach if we didn't have a rabbit, but this was okay. And we're basically cheating by putting the kangaroo here. The kangaroo's gonna get great stats without us having had to pay for them. However, they can be shuffled around by a seahorse or something like that. So you gotta be a little scared. You're gonna get a hurt trigger. That's a smart move. You should listen to your friend Billy Zane. He's a cool dude. He just wants what's best for you. But look at that, we're still in here. Next level kangaroo would definitely go off as well. Sorry, Dookie Shoes, better luck next round. You got a strong team. I still want you to have the croissant. I don't wanna replace that. This is important. We could, I, I would can. I would buy this. I would buy this. Still feel good about this. I'm also feeling like it's not too late for a porcupine now. But I'd like to see a level two rabbit first. Just because there's so many, yes, like this is where you want the porcupine. Because there's so many snipers. There's haters everywhere. This is going to be like my villain origin story. Here it is. <laughs> that a porcupine could go insane here. Even over the chinchilla. I wanted this. This is what I wanted. And then, sure. Here, you know what? I'm going punishing build. That's what I'm going. You go here, and basically your whole job is just to kill snipers. So you're like an anti-vulture. I just want you to stand here. And you know what? You could shoot back at a crocodile that doesn't quite kill you. That would be fantastic. Level two, one of these. Okay, if a vulture snap, it smacks you, it's your job to smack him back. You're a sniper. Go ahead and hit me. Okay, porcupine, you've, nobody's ever believed in you, okay? Except for that one person in my chat that told me, hey, porcupine can kind of go off this week because so many people are running snipers. So, there's two people on this earth that ever believed in you. Let's make them count. I don't feel like we really need a level 2 chinchilla anymore. And you're going to call me crazy. That's a give me. An ostrich is probably the right play. But I'm feeding our porcupine. Because I want it to scale as high as it can go. I want it to kill all snipers. We could even we could move it up later if we want to. But right now I'm putting it here as anti-croc technology. Now, our turtle should probably go. I no longer think that the melon is, is worth the space, maybe, but... Okay, now, there's no snipers. All of a sudden, I don't feel as smart. <laughs> and I was really getting high on my own supply. I was like, I'm a genius. I mean, it's still a 917 at the back. That can take some people by surprise. At some point, we're going to need to make you the kangaroo enabler, but whatever. Oh, dude, the food? The food? It didn't hit the right units. We should have sold the turtle first, but whatever. And then the food. And then the food. You know what? Get out of here. I know this is insanity. 
one of these. Are you kidding me? You wouldn't you wouldn't hit the porcupine a single time. You would hit me with that kind of indignity. It's probably valuable. We're one away from being on lethal, so we can come back to Earth real quick. But until that happens, I'm going to be completely insufferable. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> Please, give me the vulture builds, man. I know we're doing okay right now, but we'd feast on the vultures. We don't even need you to be level three. That's the... Th although, versus one... Okay, hold on a second. Love to see that. Probably freeze this. I'm, I'm losing my mind, and you're losing me my jury. It's a tough decision, honestly. I mean, like... So we would give you a little bit more HP, and you would do damage to anything that does damage to you. But, like, I, we don't need that. We just need you to do a little bit of damage to weak units. You don't even need the level. In fact, the only reason I'm giving you the chocolate, even though level 3 kangaroo could go off too, the only reason I'm even giving you the chocolate is because of the fact that I think um, the extra 3 HP you get is going to be very valuable. Crocodile? Nice crocodile! Uh, uh, never mind. Actually, the rest of their team is very scary. Or is it? It it isn't that scary. Get, get we're we're breaking the meta open. Do it. Oh my god! Hit the porcupine one time. Thank you. That that's all I could ask for. Okay. And then I mean, if you're gonna present me with the opportunity to do so. It, I do feel like it's a bit of a waste to have the porcupine at the back so that it's not like get it's not getting a chance to use its triggers on other units. But the, okay, well, <laughs> that's funny. That's humorous, I suppose. The thing is, this is what I was worried would happen, is that instead of our porcupine existing and possibly getting some snipe triggers, uh, it just gets one tap by like a 50-50, which is not when it's at its strong suit. So I still... I mean, here's what I think, Okay. I think we can finally combine these. I think we can run a snake here. You're going level three just because you can, basically. And then... I, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of options. The kangaroo's just been frozen in the shop for quite some time. No doubt about that. My hope is that my chinchilla can survive like a single hit. I didn't get sniped. How, how could you not snipe me there? It's an insult to, to not snipe me. Shoot the shoot the chicken. You gotta 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 shoot the chicken. Ooh. I am alive. I'm this is the one time in my life I've ever wanted to see vulture teams. And they don't exist. They simply They simply don't exist. Honestly, take three HP for now. We need a pineapple on our snake, too. Vulture. Vulture me. Vulture me. That's not a vulture. What is this? Everything's going to be level three. Hold on. This actually looks like an opportunity for our kangaroo to be stronger than it's ever been before. And it looks like an opportunity for splash damage on our... Splash damage on the porcupine? Not that it's necessary. No, oh, never mind. I think we're just dead. <laughs> I thought I was, I thought I was so smart. It's still a great game, honestly, for, for running a bit of an off-kilter team. I'll take eight wins. I mean, we were rolling big chinchilla. What were we thinking, man? Big chinchilla? Still, a very fun eight-win game. I'm telling you, if we ran up against vulture teams, we would have crushed them. For now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm just a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. See ya!